Hey guys, uh, it's Ben Harvey and um, welcome to the Bubble Golf Coaching V-Blog and I just wanted to thank Angus Fraser for uh, telling me to put some videos um, with my blog posts. Um, it's not something I've ever thought of before, I find that it's a lot easier for me to try and get what's in my head down onto, down onto paper so it resonates with you guys when uh, you're reading my posts. Um, so for some of you that need the video, then here it is. Um, all my videos are going to be coming from this lovely space here, uh, it's my lounge, and I thought, you know, what better way to make it more personal, nice and relaxed, um, so you guys can sit and, and, and just listen to what it is that I put in the post. Um, so today's post is our personal camera lens. It's something I've spoken about in the past, but not in the detail that I put in today's post, which is obviously on the written uh, description underneath this video. Um, what I wanted to talk about was our personal camera lens, which is what do we focus on uh, when we carry out our day? You know, what are we looking at? What are we taking in? Now, if you take a look at how many estimated thoughts we get per day, and it's been told that it's around 50,000 thoughts. I mean, that's incredible. 50,000 thoughts per day. I mean, no wonder we get headaches. Uh, I just think that's incredible. Now, whenever we're getting 50,000 thoughts a day, the fact is most of those thoughts are, are just passing. You know, they're just passing split second thoughts and they're not really things that you think about. They're, they're not actually intruding into your mind and, and taking up time or taking up space. But the main issue we have is that on a daily basis, we can become um, creatures of habit, for example. So there's something, some things that we don't pay attention to is our eyes play a massive part on what we focus on during our day. If you look at a camera and you take a picture, the focus is there to take a picture of something that you're seeing with your eye. Now, that is something that if you can't remember that thought, so for example, if you're on holiday and you're in a specific place and you take a picture, um, it's permanently there. You know, unless you lose the photo that you printed, it's permanently there. Now, something in your mind you can forget. So we get caught up on a daily basis doing what we do every day without fail, the same things, and we end up focusing on very mundane tasks. You know, we focus on daily jobs that we do without thinking about it or, you know, we, we, we focus on, you know, what's the weather like? You know, these are really boring things, what's going on in the news, but it's just our habits. You know, we are creatures of habit of what we do every single day. So whatever we're looking at in life, we're taking it in like a camera lens. The focus is there. So I normally teach my students, for example, how to focus on the correct things whilst playing golf. Now, my old golf coach used to teach me something that I now call my awareness mode. So awareness mode is really um, something I like to do when I'm on the course, if I'm under pressure or if I was in a competition situation. So I used to play a lot of amateur county golf when I was younger and I get myself into a, a real state on the golf course sometimes. I get so stressed that, you know, my hands are shaking like this and I can't get myself to calm down. So the only way that I could take myself away from what's happening around me was to be able to go into awareness mode. So awareness mode is where I take myself away from golf. You know, I think of all the things around me that are nothing to do with the game. Now, there's a lot of coaches out there that will probably think, well, why do you not want to focus on the golf game? You know, you want to focus on what shot you want to play. You want to focus on if you're hitting a draw, a fade, you want to hit it low, you want to hit it high. You know, what's the weather doing? What, what's everyone else doing around me? The interesting thing is that our bodies naturally know how to do that. If you've been playing golf long enough and you're in a competitive situation, you know how to hit the shot. You know what your body's supposed to feel like. You know exactly how the ball's supposed to fly in the air. You can even see it in your mind. So we get so caught up and I think, right, well, awareness mode was a fantastic one for me because when I started to think about the things around me that wasn't to do with the game, I started to think about the birds making noises around me, you know, other golfers talking, um, you know, what, what's happening with that squirrel over there that's picking its nuts and, and taking them up a tree. <laughs> it's a strange one because, um, you know, you think, well, you're away with the fairies, you know, how can you be focused? But these things work because when you're focusing on golf, you're standing over the ball. And whenever you're standing over the ball, what happens is you tend to just close your mind. So you're starting to think with the frontal part of your brain here. 
And what that does is it makes things really, um, really strenuous. You can feel a lot of pressure in the front of your mind. And that's what creates yourself a headache because you've got so many thoughts going on up here. You're standing over the ball and you're thinking too much about your swing. What do my wrists have to do? What does my shoulders have to do? And that's what happens in a goal situation. When you get stressed, you then lose trust in your swing. So when you go into awareness mode and you're under pressure, try and put yourself in a mode of not thinking about the game. And this will really start to relax yourself over the, uh, over the ball. And then suddenly when you relax, your muscles work better, your brain works more efficiently, and you have a more flowing goal swing. So that's the awareness mode. Now, saying that the awareness mode is our camera lens, um, what do you choose to look at when you're playing? Well, how many times do you hear golfers, they come off the course, they're moaning about the greens, uh, the grass is too long, or the sand was wrong in the bunkers, there's too many stones in the bunkers. They're focusing on all the crappy things around them. Now, there's one other player that comes off the course and he shot a really good score, not his best, but you know, he had a good day. And all you ever hear about him talking about when he, when he comes into the, the, uh, the bar afterwards, he's having a drink and he's talking about, you know, how well he putted today. Uh, he's talking about how great his bunker play was today. And the interesting thing is he's talking about all the things that the guys were moaning about, but in a positive way because he chose to change what he was focusing on. He didn't choose to focus on the stones in the bunkers. He didn't choose to focus on the greens being too long, uh, with, the, with the, the grain being too slow, because you don't need to focus on those things. You can't control the environment around you. Only you can control yourself and what you're focusing on. So have a think about that the next time that you're playing. Um, the reason why I brought up this post was because I was out with some friends the other day and we were in a club. You know, I rarely go out clubbing, but sometimes it's, you know, it's nice to get yourself out there, have a couple of drinks and have a laugh. I had a fantastic night. You know, the, the music was amazing. Um, the people around me were, were so fun. The atmosphere was great. And all my friends were moaning that there was too many drunk people around. There was too many fights being started. Now, what's the difference? You had a really good night and you have a really bad night. It was just what you choose to focus on surely whatever I chose to look at around me was what was creating uh, creating my feelings so there's a really good phrase that I learned a long time ago off a good friend of mine and you have to remember in life that we have a process now what we focus on creates our feelings our feelings then judge how we act in a certain situation then our actions um, create an atmosphere around us based on those feelings so remember that and you won't go wrong in this process so just let me repeat that for you because this is really really important what we focus on creates our feelings our feelings then judge how we act in a certain situation then our actions create an atmosphere around us so have a think about that one uh, i hope you enjoyed today's video like i said my explanation is a bit longer on the video than it is in the written post because I can just get a bit more information over to you uh, and it gives you a bit more of a, a personal feel to, to some of my blog posts. So this is Ben Harvey, Bubble Golf Coaching V-Blog. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you soon. I've got another video coming your way. Have a, have a good one. I'll see you later.